Here's one you're not going to see every day. Cool looking street rod. 1940 Mercury two door convertible. Now, this would have started life as an 09A model before going through the customization, making it into a street rod. Underneath the hood, small block Chevy 350. And that is paired up with a turbo 350 automatic transmission. As far as equipment underneath there, also power steering, power brakes, AC. FYI, I had the AC compressor would kick on and off for me. I may need to be charged, wouldn't blow real cool or cold. This is an all steel body, hood, fenders, trunk lid. Take a good look at the front face. You can see the headlights have been Frenched in. Paint on this is also in nice looking shape. You might come across just a few little tiny touch ups where previous owner might have got a little rock chip but has been touched up. There is also a front end cover that will go, go with this that's in a bag that will be in the trunk. Previous owner called this Tony Stewart's blue. And then of course it has this highlight as you can see kind of a pinstripe made to look similar similar to a bright work on it but pinstripe down there kind of the blue green combo on it with the mercury head and that matches the top the top is kind of a all light gray heather gray medium silver we'll flip it up in a little bit so you can see it looks very nice on there now if you want to check out the still pictures so you can see the engine bay the interior Underside still pictures can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. Of course, you can always call us too. 507-386-1726. It's riding on Boyd, Caddick, and Wheels. Cool looking wheel for this build, no doubt about that. Take a little peek at the interior. Also matches that pinstripe with the silver, light gray interior. Buckets up front. Shifter down in the floor, center console. Does have Dakota digital dash. I did it, tilt column. Kenwood aftermarket stereo. We'll get around to the driver's side. We'll open it up, start it up, take a little closer look at that also. Dual exhaust out the back, as you can see. Nice sounding car, we'll fire up here in a bit. Now remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. We can assist with the transportation and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. See the reflection coming off that paint. Paint has a nice luster to it, nice finish. There are a couple charging posts, negative and positive. Right back underneath the center rear behind the roll pan. There's also a button for popping the door, electric popper for the door. FYI, and you'll be able to see that in the underside pictures. And again, they can be seen at uniqueclassiccars.com. Just click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. Ford 9 inch rear end, I believe it was. Car has approximately 7,300 miles on it since it was built. Take a look up and down the driver's side here. You can also see as straight as the passenger side. Paint also looking good over here. Again, all steel. 1940 Mercury would have started out as an 09A model. All right, let's go ahead, check out this interior a little bit closer. As you can see, that silver theme carries throughout the interior seat belts, stereo speakers, custom install. It is a manual top, of course. Horn works, windshield wipers work. There's also a cruise control. That control is right underneath here. This button's there. And then that's where the wipers and the headlights also are. Power windows, power driver's seat over here. Let's go ahead and fire this up. One other nice feature I noticed on this too, um, retractable seat belts that were installed back here that will work for the front passengers and then retract out of the way for getting in and out of the back. Let's go ahead and fire this up. Electric fuel pump. So easily that 350 fires up. There's your Dakota digital gauges. That's the miles since the build. 
7,373.3 miles. Kenwood aftermarket stereo. Vents were incorporated in behind these grates, so it's kind of tough to get to show up in the video here. And there's one on this side also, one in the center, one on the passenger side. Hood release right here. And then for the rear deck lid releases right here. Alright, slip around to the back seat here and run. When we pop the hood, I'll get it off the high idle too. It is cold when I started it, so it's going to a little bit of a higher idle. Let's have an electric choke on it, I noticed. Let's go check out that engine bay. Flipped over a little closer. I'm going to pause this a second, get the hood open, take a look under the hood. Let's see what we have up under the hood here. Alright, there's that Edelbrock carb, GNC electric choke, Edelbrock intake, also HEI ignition back there, serpentine belt system, and again power steering, power brakes, AC, headers. Brake boosters underneath that you'll be able to see that. The still pictures, electric fan and shroud, a lot of nice tidy polished aluminum, nice black belt covers. Good looking engine bay, no doubt about that. Be one you could have it in your local shows, cruising, rollings. This one's going to turn some heads. Beautiful color, cool setup, nice build, all steel. All right, now, and you can hear that it did idle down. It's got a Nice little rumble to it, nice little idle. All right, I'm going to close up the hood, shut her down, and uh, we'll pop that top up so you can check that up and we'll finish up this video. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. All right, I've got the top up for you to take a peek at. Like I said, kind of a smoke gray, medium gray, gray heather, smoke gray, I guess, if you will. And uh, like we talked about before, you can see that it is chopped. So you got the lower roof line with this convertible top, but we'll keep you dry, not full of rips, tears, holes, anything like that. Back here is a plastic rear window, if you will, but you can see through it fine. Everything's good there. Again, come around here to the passenger side. Again, free of holes, rips, tears. So there you go. Get an idea what the top's going to look like. You need to put that up if you're caught in a shower or maybe just want to get the sun off your back. Uh, Serve that purpose just great. So there you are. 1940 Mercury convertible street ride. Look at that. Give us a call. 507-386-1726. Uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with the transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with their sales associate. Call in or email.